West African Tax Administration Forum, WATAF, established the win adoption of agreements by the General Assembly of Member States to contribute to the efficacy of tax administration and improved public service delivery in support of the development of countries in West Africa marks another year running. In our determination to encourage strong collaboration amongst ECOWAS member states towards the improvement of the quality of tax administration in respective states, striving to promote efficient and effective tax administration in member states, we tirelessly engage stakeholders and partners in series of activities all year long. In retrospect, take a walk with us through the year just concluded. We kick-started our year with a celebration of our 10th anniversary while holding the third WATA high-level policy dialogue theme, Taxation of the Digital Economy, Exploring Untapped Revenue Sources in Africa. This was held on 21st and 22nd of September 2021. During the event, participants from the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, from tax administrations, tax experts from the academia, ministries of finance, civil society organizations, development agencies, among others, gathered in Abuja and virtually to share thoughts on the taxation of the digital economy. Following that, as a member of the network of tax organizations, we engaged other members over the course of a three-day virtual conference, which included interactive panels, breakout sessions, and workshops facilitated by the International Tax Compact. This was the first technical conference of the Network of Tax Organizations held on the 19th through to the 21st of October 2021. The focus was on how to build stronger partnerships to fight tax-related illicit financial flows. On the 26th and 27th of October 2021, we organized a two-day virtual technical session from member countries on the policy implications of the October 8th Inclusive Framework Statement on the taxation of the digital economy. With a view to increasing the revenue base of the region on the one hand and the implementation of matters arising from the declaration. Focused on our vision, we facilitated a virtual knowledge sharing session on value-added tax automation between the Federal Inland Revenue Service, Nigeria and Kenya Revenue Authority. This was held on the 1st of November 2021 and the discussion focused on legal framework for VAT automation, the scope, the challenges encountered and measures taken to address them. Taking advantage of another opportunity, WATAF as a block presented her stand on the Inclusive Framework Statement of 8th October 2021 with an aim to consider the way forward for African countries that will ensure fairer reallocation of multinational enterprises' profits to the market jurisdictions. This was done during a hybrid workshop titled Taxation of the Digital Economy and African Perspective, hosted by the Committee of Fiscal Studies of the University of Nairobi and Oxfam Pan-Africa on the 27th of January 2022. The workshop brought together academics, advocacy groups and tax administrations. In staying true to our mission, we organized the second country correspondence conference titled Rethinking the Role of Tax Administration in Domestic Revenue Mobilization Post-COVID-19. This was held on 2nd February 2022. The purpose of the conference was to update member states' country correspondence on the forum's 2022 activities. The conference provided an opportunity for exchange of ideas and best practices in tax administration. It also served as a medium for harnessing useful feedback by the WhatsApp Secretariat. On the 9th of February 2022, the West African Tax Administration, WATAF, in partnership with Oxfam and Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Centre, SISLAC, organized a dialogue on the status of adoption of the AU UNECA High Level Panel Report on Illicit Financial Flows in Africa. The discuss was focused on the report's recommendations, assess implementation status, and consider some country-specific efforts with a focus on Kenya, Nigeria, and Senegal experiences. We also took our time to celebrate the greatest untapped reservoir of talent known to mankind, the woman, on the 8th of March 2022. From the 28th to 29th of March 2022, we launched the WATAF Compliance Risk Managers Network. The key purpose of the committee is to create a platform for heads of compliance risk management to periodically meet, discuss, share knowledge and expertise on the best practice compliance risk management and the efforts each member country is taking to reduce the tax gap 
through effective implementation of compliance risk management framework and toolkit. Furthermore, as part of our activities for the year, we launched the WATAF Tax Auditors Network on the 28th of April 2022. The key purpose of the committee is to create a platform for heads of tax audits to periodically meet, discuss, and share knowledge and expertise on the best practices in tax audits and the efforts each member country is taking to reduce the tax gap through effective audits of non-compliant and risky taxpayers. From the 9th to 13th May 2022, the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS and the West African Tax Administration Forum WATAF jointly organized a workshop on risk-based auditing using computer-assisted audit techniques in the mining sector. Also from the 24th to 27th May 2022 in Dakar, Senegal, we organized a training course on data science for tax administration, data analytics and data management to deepen members' knowledge and expertise in the field. This training brought together diverse stakeholders from tax administrations of member states. In a bid to constantly connect with the global tax communities to share expertise and experiences that forge long-lasting bonds, we partook in the Africa Tax Symposium organized by IBFD, which held from the 26th to 27th May 2022, titled Trends in International Taxation, an African Perspective. After that, in a joint effort with South Center, we organized a virtual workshop on taxation of the digitalized economy from the 7th to 8th June 2022, seeking to support developing countries on the complex projects of the taxation of the digitalized economy. In consonance with WATAF's objectives to engage key stakeholders within the tax ecosystem in order to improve the generation of needed revenue for development and the provision of public services in West African countries, WATAF presented a paper on emerging global tax issues and challenges of mobilizing domestic revenue for development in West Africa at the ECOWAS plenary session held on 18th June 2022 in Abuja, Nigeria. The first regional workshop in a mapped out series was held in Lagos, Nigeria on 27th and 28th July 2022. This regional workshop was organized by the ATI, CEP and IDOS in collaboration with the West African Administration Forum, WATA, the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS Commission and the African Tax Administration Forum, ATA. The event built on the previous workshop and provided a platform for ATI member countries and other interested governments to exchange ideas with regional partners and international experts on estimating, reporting and evaluating tax expenditures. We would not have achieved these feats without the support of our esteemed partners. Action 8, Britacom, Deutsche Gesellschaft für International, Zusach Menachbeit, GIZ, the Economic Community of West African States, also known as ECOWAS, Ford Foundation, International Bureau of Fiscal Documentation, IBFD, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OSF Africa, Oxfam, Tax Inspectors Without Borders, the Network of Tax Organizations, West African Union of Tax Institutes. Our profound appreciation goes out to you all, and we look forward to greater achievements in the coming years as our partnership continues to wax stronger.